back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be making some sticky toffee Christmas cupcakes. I'm using a recipe from the Hummingbird Bakery. I will list all of the ingredients down below so that you can follow along with me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what your favourite flavour of cupcake is. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Next you want to chop your dates and soak them in some hot water. Again, I'll list the quantities down I'll list the quantities down below for you. Okay. So while those are soaking, you need to beat together your butter and your sugar. So I'm just going to put them into my mixing bowl here. I'm going to take it over to the mixer and get it started. You need to beat your butter and your sugar together until they're light and fluffy. Don't forget to scrape down the bowl regularly with a spatula because otherwise the ingredients won't mix properly. That should do it. Now you need to crack your eggs into a bowl one at a time and gently add them into the mix while it's beating. You don't want any eggshells to get into your eggs. Top tip, if you do break some shell into your egg, use the other half of the eggshell to scoop it out. <laughs> Is this easier said than done? There you go. Like Don't forget, again, to scrape down your bowl. I've measured out my flour and my raising agents. I'm just going to pop them into my bowl of flour and make sure that they're mixed together nicely. You can sift the flour if you want, but I'm not going to today. Living on the edge. You need to add the flour to the wet mix in two to three batches. Mix in between and scrape down in between each batch. I'm going to keep a little bit of flour to one side just in case the mix decides to separate when we add our dates and water. You need to put your dates in in two batches. I 
looks like it's separating a little bit, so I'm going to add a bit of my flour now. That's brought that back together nicely. Now for the dates. And in goes the last of the flour. This is what the mix should look like when it's all done. So now you need to line your cupcake trays with cases. I'm using an ice cream scoop to put the mixture into my cases. This makes sure that you have the perfect amount in the muffin size cases. It's very important that you get the muffin size and not the fairy cake size. So you just scoop a lot out, you scrape it off, and then push the button and it plops it. These are ready for the oven, so in they go. I have a fan oven, so I'm going to make sure that I check mine after about 10 to 15 minutes. But overall, they should take around 20 minutes to cook. They look done, uh, so I'm going to check them now. I'm just going to give them a little press. They feel very soft, but they're not quite back to back yet. So they're not quite ready, they need another couple of minutes. So I've left these in the trays for about five minutes just to cool a little bit. Now I'm going to transfer them to my cooling rack. These tear racks are really handy. While those are cooling, let's make the icing and the decorations. In my mixing bowl here, I've got some butter and some icing sugar. So we're gonna put that on to mix now. Don't forget to put the shield on. And now I'm gonna put my tea towel over the top of my mixer and that will stop the icing sugar cloud from spreading everywhere. And let's put that on slow to start. That's looking really good now. So what we're going to do is add the caramel. Give it a nice whip. Right, that looks perfect. I filled my piping bag with my icing and a round tip nozzle. This is sort of like a medium sized one. So now I'm going to show you how I cook my cupcakes. So you want to keep nice even pressure, squeeze it around in a circle, and then on top. And finally, you just want to add your decorations. So on these cupcakes, we've made reindeer. 